Love, a 6'4 sophomore from St. Louis, averaged 10.5 points per game, jumping center Armando Baycott, the top returning scorer for Carolina. Era. Here's Brady Maddock, the grad transfer from Oklahoma, to get the scoring underway. Is to come out every day and show that they belong in the starting lineup. I would not be surprised to see the starting lineup change time and time again. But one guy for certain who's going to be in there. We talked about two and white. To be a one and done player. The first mock draft, I believe, for the start of the season, he was ranked 10th. As R.J. Davis, another one of those heralded freshmen a year ago, gets out in transition. Freshman guard in this league. You know, Hubert and I talked about that earlier. We both were, did that. And I can remember it back to my playing day as Kenneth Jones knocks down the three. And Hubert Davis said it's still going to be the Carolina way, but he's doing the walking in his own shoes. So they're going to get up and down. They're going to defend. But you're going to see more of that. Three different times where Mondo's gotten his hands on the basketball, leading to a steal for Kate Love. The tomahawk off the takeaway. Catch transfer who came in during the timeout for his first run as a Tar Heel. Off the bench, Kerwin Walton buries the three. The turnovers, Leaky Black's bullet pass off the hands of Garcia. And Spencer comes away after the first Carolina turnover of the night. Tell you what, my greatest asset is I slow things down for my teammates. Well, Cam Spencer, of course, only played five games a year ago as we see Colonel Walton knocking down his second shot. Excited to have him back healthy and in the lineup. They think he's a difference maker for this Greyhound team. He feeds DK in the post, who lays it in with a left hand. That's a nice move by DK. With the Grizzlies, picked 30th overall by the Jazz. He's 6'11", played a couple of years with Loyola. And over Baycock, the layup is good. And no, you're not seeing double. There are identical twins on the floor for Loyola. Milos and Velko Illich, both 6'10", 230 pounds. Hair this week. And I believe it's Velko who has the, the, the little bit of chin fuzz. But he did switch it up on the group a month or so ago. Although they do play different positions. Yes. Milos is more of four. Velko is more of a five. The three ball by Jalen Andrews. To be the leader of this Greyhound team all season long. Also a leader on campus as we see Colonel Walton, the leading three-point shooter for the North Carolina Tar Heels. And Hubert, who's on Uncle Walter, most folks know. Walter Davis, who was a great player at Carolina back in the 70s. Is Hubert's direct connection. Continue that legacy. Yeah, and I gave Hubert a whole bunch of flack probably for the last 20 years for being a Virginia guy and coming to Carolina, as so many great Virginia players have. Here early about, he hasn't been there before. This is the first game where he's been the guy. Well, there's the height and the length that this Loyola team has. Spencer works his way into the lane, gives up the shot. Faure along the baseline. Baycott was waiting for him. Three guard offense with Manic. And here's Baycott inside with a chance for three. <laughs> Can't imagine why. If this is a place where you can always remember that North Carolina was the place where all the alumni would come back in the summertime. Manic, tough runner. Good. Tell you what, after a four-year run in North Carolina history, and I was immediately starting to think Jeff Lebo, but Hubert Davis actually is the all-time leader in three-point field goal percentage at 43.5, beating out Williams. Those are my top two. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. What were their percentages? I don't care. Doesn't matter. <laughs> they made big shots, just like Kayla Love. Jalen Andrews connects. And you see Loyola now starting to try to find a rhythm. A chance to really put it all together and make some noise as this season goes along. Seven to shoot. Jones puts up an air ball. Andrews going to have to hurry. Puts it up over the backboard and hits. Urigo decided to cut it off. He's just let it go. Yeah. Respect. Respe Jones. Yeah, respect for Kenneth Jones, too. He was out there practicing on the floor with his team. But you also said that he was not the best coach on the floor 
as Kayla Love with a beautiful move. Well, I, I don't, I wouldn't say that he only has one big on the floor. He has two bigs on the floor, but the difference is that other big, whether it's Brady Manic or it's Dawson Garcia. Bowery missed the three for Loyola. This is R.J. Davis, one of two point guards, if you will, who play for Carolina now together. Brady Manic off the spin. And that's what the great players do. You watch and you take from guys who you've seen do it before. You beautiful mm. by, by Jones. I say. Hey, one time is enough. Absolutely. <laughs> that's something great to have on the resume. Tough shot there. But Hardy trying to switch up the defenses and keep North Carolina off balance on the offensive end. And Spencer gets to the rim, finishes through the contact. I'll tell you what, he's got a physicality. Coach Kenny, but Duke and Gonzaga. I'm looking forward to watching that game, seeing those two teams go at it. High low, big to big, and two transfers hook up Garcia to Manic. You were nothing but that. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest headline statement with a qualifier. Excited to hang out with, uh, of course, my girl Kelsey Riggs. By Spencer to cut off Love. Black again drives and dish, this time Walton for three. The crowd can't get the roll. Love with a burst. And a chance for three. Garcia gets the defender on his hip and lays it in. And just nice action. Luke. Necessarily a, a power play. He's more of a skill guy. Listed as a small forward, although he's 6'10, maybe 6'11. Listed as a small forward as Andrews knocks down the three than Garcia is with this group. That is DK with a golden move. He's got four points. Golden DK also is from Spain. So you've got two Spanish players on this way. Spinning bucket, he's got 19 points. For her, it has nothing to do with her gender. It has to do with the learning curve that she has had as Garcia puts in the bucket. Tiny to me. And again, you know, when you hear you're going to I'm thinking about hiring a female, then you wonder, okay, what does she bring to your staff? That move, and it is def definitely in no way, shape, or form a publicity stunt. It has all been about making his team better. And when you listen to the players, to every one of them, and she grinded for this job. I mean, of course, Kevin Broad is the head coach at Morgan State when she was a video coordinator, was who referred her to Javar Hardy. Looking to build on a 18-point lead. Good hustle to find Garcia. Garcia strong to the bucket. Fowre blocked it. Manic with the putback. With Garcia and Manic both getting it done. Leaky. Not sure if the rim got him or if DK got him. I'm not sure. Somebody got him though. See exactly what happened at the rim. Oh, I got to give Golden the credit for that. DK comes up. He got his hand on the basketball yep. right there. Maliki has so much force, he's going with to dunk that basketball. A bit, but the idea in Baltimore at this Loyola campus is that they're going to be better than eight. Lob to Leaky Black, and there was no defense that time. Another takeaway by the Tar Heels. Love spins, dump it off Manic. Uh oh. Boy, here come the assists. Uh oh. Want to put this program in. And so I believe that Roy had that plan all along when he asked Hubert to join him and leave ESPN. Nice break for Loyola. And earlier here in the second half, but then the Tar Heels flexed their muscles again as they did coming out of the locker room in the first half to begin the ball game. Caleb Love easily to the basket again. He's got 22. Wade Jackson. Good footwork by Velko Illich with the reverse. He's now got eight points for Loyola. I'm gonna pick up win number one of the Coach Davis era. I love what I saw defensively from the Tar Heels and the energy that they played with on the defensive end of the floor. I thought it was a very efficient game. So there you had to jinx him there. It was too much to ask to get two for two. <laughs>
you said if you shoot 50%, you're all right. Oh, dunks. <laughs> and that's actually not a good percentage of dunks. In an 83-67 loss to North Carolina. The 19th ranked team in the country.